In addition to her career as co-founder of Rancho La Puerta in 1940 and founder of Golden Door in 1958, Deborah Zake has served as president of the Inter-American Foundation, acted as founder of Eureka Communities, and is currently on the boards of the Center for Science and the Public Interest, Congressional Management Foundation, Washington Spa Alliance, and ISPA. Deborah is also the founder of wellnesswarrior.org. It is my honor to introduce Deborah Zake. Thank you very much. And on behalf of Mexico, thank you for being here. <laughs> this is a country that welcomed us. We were impoverished from Europe, escapees from Nazi Germany. And this is our 75th year in Mexico, who's been so wonderful to us. And I thank you. The light is, let me, this is better. <laughs> Thank you. Today we were witnessing the birth of a new era. I don't know what it we called, but as a mother of spas, the idea of being part of the creation of this new era thrills me. So what is this new era? I think you here today know better than most. One of the reasons I'm committed to my daily Pilates class is to live a long life so I can be here to celebrate this new era with you. On the screen behind me, should be there. Well, they're supposed to have been slides, but never mind. Oh, they're over there. Okay, good. On the screen, good. On the screen behind me, you see at a glance 75 years of progress at Rancho La Puerta. Since day one, we were radicals who preached mind, body, spirit balance. We spoke of the body's inner wisdom and the need for time, time to listen to get to know our bodies. Year by year, decade by decade, as the world progressed, these teachings became acknowledged and accepted. It's OK, it's inevitable. <laughs> Thank you. My time with you has changed my life, is the line that tens of thousands of spa workers hear every day. You hear it from guests who never before thought of food as that vital life-giving force, or realized that exercise is a daily given, or remembered the power of healing touch, or discovered again that unpolluted air and a connection to the natural world is absolutely essential. Now science has documented that these simple, timeless truths are the basic ingredients to living a long, healthy, productive life. So it turns out we're doing good work. <laughs> but if you add up all the guests that those of in this room have influenced, there's still only the proverbial drop in the bucket. When my husband and I first started out, it was never our intention to reach only the educated and the wealthy and limit nature's teaching only to those who could afford it. It was always our conviction that health is the birthright of all. Well, once an entrepreneur, always an entrepreneur. Frustrated, I decided to act. I turned to the almighty internet and created Wellness Warrior, a way of empowering people to gain the knowledge they need to actively engage in protecting their own health and that of their families, neighbors, communities. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is the force behind behind any sweeping change. That is what Wellness Warrior is all about. We provide a weekly news feed, and we also engage in activism. We are coalition builders, adding a needed voice to the wellness movement. Spa peoples are healers. Now is our time to turn outward and work together to usher in the future era where disease is the rarity and health is the rule for all. If we in this room 
devote only a tiny fraction of our profits and efforts to the cause, we can make our spa community a powerful, united voice, and we will be the harbinger of a new spring. I just want to say one thing as we're going down. Um, <laughs> I just want to mention that Deborah created Wellness Warriors at the age of 90. She's now 93.